Welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. I'm Johnny Utah. Today I'm going to show you a tie, a little variation of the Taboo Caddis. Great pattern. What I have here in the device is a Daiichi 1275. The thread I'm going to be using is 80 Light Off Uni. Start my thread up near the eye. Just going to lay down a layer of thread on the way back. Nice and tight. You get to about the bar, it's going to be around the bend. Now, the feathers you use for this is a uh, chickaboo, and then you're going to need the Brahma hen saddle. Uh, this one's light yellow, which is a uh, pretty, uh, it's like a more of a, a, a tannish uh, light olive uh, with a tinge of yellow to it. But anyway, just take yourself a chickaboo feather off the hide. I'm just going to take this fluffy part, this part here, and strip it back. Then just fold everybody forward. Pinch it. It's going to be like you're a little nub of a tail. This part's going to be your hackle. Catch that in on the top. It's always going to be a little long unless you got really small fingers to grab just a little bit. I'll just pull it in. Just want a little, little tiny tip sticking out there. And lock it in with a turn. Lock that turn down with two. Next, you're gonna tie. This is where it varies from the original. Uh, the original uses um, clear elastic, and I'm using a Mitch Diamond braid in yellow. I'm just gonna catch this in. A little fiddly. Catch that in. Just bring your thread up. Catching the diamond braid in. Just wind your thread up to about two or three hook eyes back from the eye. And grab your stem of your feather and just twist. You can use hackle pliers for this, uh, but I just prefer to use my hands. I tend to break more things with hackle pliers than anything else. Then you're just going to wind that twisted part up. Get your hackle out of the way so that way you don't... That's going to end up being a hackle that you wind. So you just want to get that out of the way. And just wind the, the body up. Don't worry about anything that's uh, getting crazy on you. It's all part of the fly. Then just fold your hackle back and wind it on just like a soft hackle. I only like a turn or two. I don't uh, get too crazy. I end up putting uh, too much on. But I like to trim it away. It's easier doing that than having a less than what you'd like to have on there, and then having to uh, not having it there to make up for. You can just bend and break your stem off. Your hack will just pull it back so it winds around the hook the right way, and just pull it forward to get it out of the way. And you just want to twist your diving braid. And wind it up through. I try to get it in between the wraps of the hackle feather. But then as you come up to the front here where your hackle is, bring your extra hand, your spare hand in. And just stroke everybody down, and then bring your diamond braid across it. Keep everybody down, bring your diamond braid up, and bring your thread across at the same time, and tie your diamond braid down nice and tight. 
I like to sweep the dying braid back, tie it down, really locks it in. I know it just looks like a big old mess right now, but and it'll still look like a mess when you finish the fly, but that's the way it's supposed to look. Just take that hackle, nice pinch it off, nice and short. Then just give it a little bit of a haircut. Like I said, you can do less turns and uh, try to accomplish uh, the amount that you want on there. But I find it's just easier to take a couple of seconds and just give it a haircut. Now we're going to do the wing. Now the wing is just a, a feather off the pelt here. One of the saddle feathers. Now this part here, just snip it off because you're going to use this stuff for dubbing. You can strip away. Now it's a size 16 so it's a pretty small wing. So we just need the tip. Anything more than the tip we're just going to have to cut it out of the way. But just need the tip. Just catching it on top. Two loose turns. Slide it into place to bunch it up. If it rolls on you, just take your thumbnail and roll it on back. I like the tips so they're just about even with the back of the body. Pull it in. That's right where I want it. And just tighten up, tie that in. Snip your excess out of there. Now we're going to dub the head. Like I said, this marabou here is your dummy. You don't want to get any of the, the stem piece, so just pinch down low on there and just break it off. You don't need much. Dub's really easy. Just tighten it up as you dub. The excess get off there. And just go right into a wet finish. Tighten it up. Slip your thread. Give it still a little more of a haircut. Get let that little piece out of there. See how she's sitting. A little bit of a haircut again. Well, that's the fly. Um, it'll look like a there's something your cat puked up uh, in the vise, but um, when it gets wet, it's uh, certainly uh, uh, certainly uh, does the part in the in the streams. I'll get it wet here real quick. Take a look at it. See that diamond braid really uh, pops through. That's a taboo caddis. A slight variation. Got some flash in there. Um, put a little shot a little bit above it. Cast it down. Let it swing on up in the target area. It'll uh, You'll get some violent strikes. But I'm Johnny Utah. Check me out my site. www.utahsflycorner.com Thanks for watching.